you know, I miss home. But then again, I'm not working. And I'm having a great time. So, uh, it'll be a sweet homecoming. But it sure is fun out here. So this is it, Upper Peninsula. I'm on some dirt road in the middle of nowhere. GPS took me back here. And uh, I'm getting, uh, I think I'm gonna be bringing part of Michigan home with me. Uh, I've got dirt all over everything. But uh, I stopped here to brush my teeth. I got up early this morning, I said goodbye to a friend, and uh, hit the road. And I thought, what better place is there to stop and brush your teeth and out here, in the middle of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, middle of nowhere. Now, I've had three vehicles stop so far and ask me if I was okay. The hospitality here is just unbelievable. Here. In one and a half miles, turn right. Should I go or should I not go? up that that was a slippery one I used X drive and uh, on this car which is computer controlled all-wheel computer control I got stuck coming up it but I uh, was able to get over that hump soft sand very little traction I didn't deflate I don't have an air pump but I'm having fun I guess there's some very soft sand out here and there's nowhere for me to turn around not that I want to. I'm kind of committed to this this path. I hope the next road is better. Oh, great. <laughs> Where's this GPS taking me? Turn right, huh? Uh, I'm out on pavement again, and I'm a happy guy. I'm on pavement again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This thing took me through some, uh, through some real uh, wilderness. <laughs> I'm still learning about off-road. I've got a lot to learn yet. Uh, I'm kicking myself for not bringing my bicycle pump so I could deflate. But, uh, woo! Part of the fun. Just like fun, only different. So here it is, Lake Superior. The car is uh, pretty filthy. I just had a wild uh, <laughs> backwoods ride through the... Uh, <laughs> Through some pretty gnarly stuff for me. A uh, little sandy, a little traction, trying to get over a hump issues, but the car, the Subi made it over, and that's a good thing. Uh, a few tense moments there, sweaty palms, right? I'm wondering if I'm gonna spend the rest of my life in the woods there, but uh, everything worked out okay. Nothing wrong here that a car wash wouldn't help or a little bucket of water. It's good filth. Temperature of the water is not bad today. It is swimmable. I'm not going to do it. Uh, sure, I could nude, nude bathe here. Nobody would give a hoot. But uh, I'll wait for another day. Grand Marius, uh, Michigan, in the Upper Peninsula, where gas is $3.49 a gallon. Uh, what a pleasure. The first Inuk of the trip. Always a good omen. Apparently lots of shipwrecks up here. There's a stretch of beach you can walk down and look for the, uh, the remains of, uh, of shipwrecked ships. So they call this the Graveyard Coast. Many a shipwreck here. Here's the, uh, the damage to the ships. Uh, there's a shallow rock that protrudes out under the water. And uh, many a ship's met its end over here. Supposedly there's some wreckage on the beach. Let's go take a look. All 
All right, I'm going in and getting my first hot pasty. A uh, peninsula treat. My first pasty. It's pretty good. Okay, I just came down several miles of really horrific road. <laughs> Very rough on the suspension. I had to take it really slow. Uh, one, two miles an hour with the trailer. It was bouncing all over. Uh, I was told by a couple of four-wheelers the next stretch is a little tough and I got to go down there. There may or may not be campsites available. Evidently, it's a nice spot. So I'm going to drop the trailer here. I'm locking it. I could barely get the lock to work. It had so much mud in it. I had to rinse it out. So uh, I'm hoping the trailer will still be here when I get back. If not, my insurance person's going to get a call. So uh, on we go. Well, it's pretty tough getting down there, but I was able to get down there with the car. And I could get the trailer down there. A couple of very tight spots, very deep ruts and stuff. But I can get it in there. The trouble is, once you get down there, you're on Lake Superior, which is nice. But it's uh, the campsites are pretty much taken. And the ones that are left, I wouldn't be able to get the trailer into. Now, you can get a tent back there, and that would be okay. But uh, I think I'm going to pass on this one. And uh, unfortunately, I have a lot of shitty road to drive out on. But... Uh, I'll check the next place. Out on a dirt road, uh, looking for a camping place. Now, I just got turned away from this place. I'm going through these mammoth uh, uh, puddles. Real, uh, okay. So it's pretty bumpy. I got to do like one or two miles an hour. Well, while I'm in the hood, I found a, another road that, uh, that went back to another possible campsite. And I came down to check it out. And it has, uh, well, just something that's completely uncrossable. And uh, now I am going to try and have to back out. Uh, I really can't turn around here. So uh, I have a good backup camera, though, I'll tell you. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. So I've got a ways to go yet, backing up. But uh, hey, it's all part of the adventure. Uh, <laughs> I'm asking a lot of this car. I, uh, I really am, and uh, it's providing, and I have uh, you know trees coming in the window here. That's how tight this trail is. So I just want to make sure I come out of here with my mirrors on. Well, there's my trailer. Still there, thank goodness. Uh, you know, the Subaru uh, backup camera is pretty good um, for getting on the ball there. Uh, that's pretty close. All right, let me go check it. What is your name? My name's Nancy. I'm John. John, and you've been on the road? For a year. A year, and you're yeah. gonna be on the road? Probably, well, we're shooting for five, but. Five, yeah. wow. Okay, and you built this beautiful built homemade the trailer, right? Homemade teardropish trailer. Yeah. And let, I'll just start with the exterior. So you've got down here, what is all this? This is a generator that runs our air conditioner. Okay, great. And then this folds down, which I don't really want to open it right now. No, don't open it up. It man. folds down. It's got all my dishes and stuff in there. Okay. And this one folds down. I put my stove on this one. Okay. So I've got my water set in here and my stove and my work area. So that we, bu we built it. We built it. Okay. Yeah, okay. We did. Now this canvas construction, is this uh, canvas over wood? Yes. Okay, great. So that gives you your waterproofing and it right. gives a nice aesthetic, right? Yeah. It's really got actually, a... this trailer had our Harley on it. So you were going to show me the interior? Yeah, it's not... It's all kind of well. It's, it's the interior. Look, you've yeah. been living in here for a year. Come on, what do you think? I uh, you we know, have our air conditioning, which the generator runs. We've yeah. got solar panels on the truck, mm -hmm. which runs our TV and our lights and our fan. Okay, There's plenty of room for all three of us to sleep. Cause okay, doggy. okay, <laughs> great, great, very nice, very rustic, very nice. Yeah. Okay, we're really comfortable in sure, it. of course, of course. Yeah, so uh, all everything we need. What, what truck is this? It's a Tacoma. Tacoma. You know, I almost bought a Tacoma. I ended up with the uh, the Subaru. Great gas mileage with it. The only oh, what are you getting in gas mileage? Oh, honestly, I don't know, but I just know that we can fill it up and go 350 miles. Uh, how many gallons? So, 
Uh, 18. 18. 18, 350. You're getting about 22, maybe 20. Well, there you go. Depends on if there's any mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mountains, I high. find with the uh, the alcohol, 10% alcohol, I get worse gas mileage. Yeah. I'm getting uh, 24 Ooh. to 20. Unless I get bad gas, then I get like 16. Or mountains, I get 16. Yeah, right, we, right. We go down the mountains. The only thing I wish is I wish. <laughs> Well, thank so, you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, we've been on the road since February. February. Okay. And um, you're doing it in a travel van, right? Yep. Okay. And how did you set it up? Threw these gym mats down. Okay. And uh, built this bed for you. Okay. And all our stuff's down, stored down there. Here's our drawers. Uh-huh. Okay, so all your storage is below. Yeah. What about water? Uh, water, we just kind of get where we go. Yeah. See, I have two, uh, a jug, green jug over there. Yes. And then like another three gallon Culligan water jug. Yeah, okay, okay, so you're, you know, and you're primarily doing dispersed camping? Yeah, yeah, we have paid for camping, yet. Yeah. Great, and how do you find the places? Uh, freecampsites.net. That's how I found this place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I'm trying to go around Lake Superior doing that. And uh, how's the gas mileage? A little rough. I get 13. Yeah. 13, 14 yeah. miles. Yeah, okay. So. Mm -hmm. You have no permanent residence, right? This is where you're living? Yes. Okay, so that cuts costs hugely, right? Yes. Yeah. Any bad instances as a woman traveling alone with a child? No? No. No. Helpful people? No. The worst one that we've seen so far is locals who were from here. And this is kind of our spot, but oh, other than that. Turf war over the campsites? Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, no. Nope. Yep, no okay. All right, good. I don't know. I, the people I met in Michigan are the friendliest people I've ever met. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. It's Copper Harbor. I'm trying to find a uh, dispersed camping site. I mean, I went down this road the other direction that I'm traveling, and it uh, really... Uh, was impassable. I had some guys with a big 4x4 go ahead of me and they turned around and came back and told me forget it. <laughs> they turned around because it got too rough. So uh, there is something up top. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm in uh, Copper Harbor and I'm on some what I believe is state land and uh, it's a dirt road. Had to come up here quite a ways. Saw a couple other four-wheelers. I expect some four-wheelers to pass through here but uh, I just have a pullout on the side of the road, somebody's camped here before. Got the trailer in there. Trailer uh, is looking a little different after some uh, some very muddy days. So, uh, but everything's holding together just fine. I think I'll set up and maybe make some food. Pretty quiet spot. I may drop the trailer and go into town later. It's a big act of trust. You hope the trailer will still be here when you get back. It's not the most level spot I've been in. I have a leveler. I may try and use that. See if I can get the trailer. I don't want the blood rushing to my head when I'm sleeping. That seems to have helped. Yeah, the Will uh, Leveler seems to have helped. It's just a uh, curved wedge made by Campco. You roll up on it and it'll raise it up a couple, about three inches, looks like, four inches. And uh, it looks like it helped a little. Last night I failed to uh, disconnect the trailer from the car. And that means that the trailer will draw energy from both the car battery and the trailer battery if you don't disconnect them. Now you can get an isolation switch which will uh, cause the car to shut off the power to the trailer when you stop. The idea being if you have a heavy drain in the trailer it will draw down the car battery. You don't want that to happen. So uh, I went all night without a problem. Uh, you can get a, an isolation switch, which will do that for you. It'll shut the, uh, the power off to the trailer, either when you stop the car or when the voltage drops below a certain level. I didn't bother with that. I just have to have the presence of mind to disconnect the trailer from the car. Then it's isolated. I am the isolation switch. I left Copper Harbor this morning, early, and... Uh, Drove out here. I'm in Wisconsin. I'm not sure exactly where, but it's uh, near a big forest. And uh, I just did a turn off, a blind turn off. And I'm gonna see, uh, I walk down. Looks like I've got a place to camp. And uh, I just need some rest. I racked up like 1,600 miles at least on this trip so far. And it's time to decompress. Um, I'm on a bit of a schedule. I wanna get to uh, St. Paul, Minnesota on Wednesday. And uh, so this road's relatively great compared to, uh, to what I've been going down in Missouri, in uh, Michigan. 
Uh, this is a, a little uh, easier to navigate. Did not need the web page to find this. I just turned off on some dirt road and uh, well, here I am. And uh, I think I'm gonna make myself at home. Well, well, the area is pretty nice. It's uh, nice and quiet, pin quiet, totally quiet, which I really appreciate. Uh, however, I noticed something odd. I look in the woods here, it's a beautiful pine forest, but when you walk along and you look, you see that these trees were planted. They're in nice, even rows as you walk, kind of like corn, which uh, looks like there may be a 16 inch diameter tree or so. So they're not that old, but uh, interesting. I have a great view of the sky. So uh, I'm thinking tonight, I'm gonna get some awesome stars up here if it's clear. So I'm an hour outside of Duluth. I'm gonna try and make Duluth tomorrow. And I may go to a campground there. I could use a shower. I've been washing up in the trailer, but I think a shower would feel pretty good. I've been on the road for uh, several days now. I think six days. Uh, yeah, six days. Tomorrow will be my seventh day. And I could use a good scrubbing. Uh, besides that, it feels great. The key to happiness is not doing what makes you happy. It's being happy what you do.